Hey guys, a little summer update. I'm feeling super excited because I'm going to get back uh, uh, the Gallardo. Um, I stopped driving with it uh, hey, once a month just uh, to keep everything in rotation but um, um, I couldn't really afford uh, to drive it anymore. Luckily things have turned around um, some of my investments uh, have done uh, much better the past few months and um, I'm um, back uh, in positive territory with my portfolio so I can uh, blow some dough again and uh, that's really good uh, so uh, I start to drive the Gallardo again and lo and behold it broke down <laughs> uh, the, the it's it maybe this it was probably the second or the third drive I was doing with it in, a, in, a, in two weeks time or so and uh, with a friend uh, he was driving and um, suddenly the battery stopped, started going down that shouldn't be the case and gave an error uh, that, uh, a warning signal that the battery was draining so um, probably there was a, the alternator was broke um, and so no electricity was uh, generated anymore it could have been because of a little bit of rough driving but <laughs> since I know this everything breaks down on this car without rough driving I, I can't really say that for sure uh, at all um, and um, and uh, we didn't get home we could drive another half hour but we were quite far and so uh, in the middle of the highway um, it was over and um, luckily I had um, uh, uh, they, they picked up uh, us and the car uh, very quickly and uh, brought it to uh, the Lamborghini garage and uh, there um, uh, luckily it wasn't the alternator but the cable between the alternator uh, and um, the battery uh, I think something like that uh, uh, broke down so so that's that's good that's not a high cost um, and um, but I'm very excited uh, they will also uh, fix the uh, bank 1.5 and bank 16 610 error that always comes back let's hope they fix that uh, indefinitely and um, the clutch still seems okay because th that's the big problem with these uh, Gallardos uh, the clutches do go um, you have to replace them every 30,000 kilometers or so uh, 20,000 mar miles or so 15,000 miles um, but I can do another 10,000 kilometers with it uh, I estimate which is a very good thing because I'm planning to do a big trip through the south of Europe and the middle of Europe um, Germany Austria Switzerland uh, north of Italy south of France north of Spain uh, so um, yeah uh, that will be for August and um, I love to meet uh, some of you guys uh, if you are uh, in that region um, um, or not too far uh, let me know and maybe we can um, meet up um, and um, yeah um, I also have something beautiful here and look what we got here it's a beautiful Gaiar uh, sorry uh, hurricane it's the new hurricane sun is shining the new hurricane I'm still uh, of course uh, as my investments do better uh, eyeing um, future options um, the hurricane uh, spider is out you can buy them second hand uh, yellow one for example um, around 200,000 euro um, in Europe um, and the US uh, that's pretty cool um, Actually, is it 200? It's probably more like 220,000 euro, 250,000 US dollars. Um, is that a good deal? Well, uh, uh, I, I think it's rather expensive. 
uh, that's because these are brand new cars eh? you buy them second hand but basically the price second hand is the same as if you would buy it new but if you buy it new you have to wait another year to get delivery um, so I don't think there is a, a steal there however I think the Aventador uh, becomes much more interesting the Roadster um, although it's not the case yet but I expect in one to two years time prices will drop quite considerably and um, then um, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll be able to buy something like that that would be super cool it's not the fastest car uh, but it's uh, certainly the, 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 the most uh, crazy bull around um, and uh, but of course I need a lot more uh, make a lot more money to be able to afford that so we will see how things go um, but of course as a daily driver the Hurricane is, is, is much better than the Aventador but but um, it's not so cool eh? uh, uh, but it's also a price um, I think um, I think depreciation will be a lot higher with the Hurricane than with the Aventador and then I mean percentage depreciation per year eh? uh, and, and that's of course because the Hurricane hasn't even started to depreciate um, but once that starts it will go down by 10% per year for 5 to 10 years in a row uh, whereas the and in the beginning it's the strongest like it's strange I'm learning a lot about cars and um, and and some of these new cars um, they go for the same price as uh, second hand as new that's because um, they're still in very high demand and um, um, yeah, but for me, it's interesting. I'm learning a lot about uh, the car industry, and, and and it is actually possible to buy such supercars and have them be a very very good investment. That they go up in value a lot, uh, but this is only the case with very exclusive cars, and you need connections to be able to buy them um, when um, and you have to buy them years before they get produced or at least a year or two years and um, and and you buy basically a plan it's like investing in real estate where you just have a plan of the architect and you buy on the plan and you have to put down the pot deposit to secure it and it's the same in the car industry but only with very exclusive cars like when 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 when, when Zonda or Ferrari or, or, or they 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 decide to make only 50 special editions of something or and then and then uh, and then if you buy one of those you can make a profit but if you buy mass produced supercars like just a, a standard um, Lamborghini um, Huracan or 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 or, 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 or Aventador or um, or a standard McLaren, they drop in value a lot. But that's for me where that's where I'm interested in to be able to buy such cars who have almost the same uh, performances as the extremely exclusive editions. Uh, but you are able to buy them extremely cheap. That's why I bought the Gallardo because I say, wow, for seventy thousand euro, I can buy this. I cannot even buy a beautiful BMW or Mercedes or or Audi like if you want to buy a really new one you also lose or a Tesla it's also 100,000 euro so 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 you can buy a Lamborghini for the same price that that's what attracted me to buy one if I have to pay 200 300,000 I couldn't afford it so so I'm not maybe later when I'm really really rich maybe I'll, I'll, I'll and also it requires a lot of knowledge to get into that car industry and to be able to to buy these cars and connections uh, to buy these very exclusive cars it's interesting for me to learn about this um, but it's not for me um, I'm more interested to be able to have almost similar performance but have it for 10 times cheaper uh, and um, the and just have the driving experience uh, which is almost the same um, uh, 
yeah. But, 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 but I have to admit that, that that's not the best strategy financial wise. Financially, you can actually just make money with driving supercars and buying supercars. And that's really shocking for me to discover. Eh? You would think that people that drive such supercars that they are burning a lot of money while some of these guys actually make a lot of money. Can you believe that? Uh, but uh, that's that's that that that's of course the cheapest. Uh, that's that's because I am burning quite a lot of money with these cars, and these guys are making money. So it's great to discover that, and and, and maybe that's something for me in the future. Uh, but for now, I'm very very happy I can drive the Gallardo and um, uh, as much as I want, and uh, see even the price of that, the value of that car go up even though I'm dry, doing a lot of kilometers miles with it that's already quite surprising for me um, but it's still a big cash drain for me eh, because of maintenance costs and breakdowns uh, so yeah uh, but it's a lot of fun I'm very very happy I can do that and I have a fun toy to play with so um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you all a great summer and please contact me if you would like to meet up uh, in August somewhere in the south of Europe. Bye.